Do you suffer from neck pain? Every second or third person has an extremely stiff neck at least once a month or more, and inadvertently makes it even worse. Watch and learn what you should not do. First, I'm going to explain and demonstrate with Ina's help what causes your stiff neck. Look, when you sit upright, with a good posture, then nothing bad is going to happen to your neck. However, the moment you slump over like this, and lots of people do that, you round your back and bend your neck here. And now, look at this. When you stick your head out like this, your muscles here will shorten. And the problem is that when you keep sitting like this, they become even shorter. So basically, what you have to do is leave this position, even though the old posture seems to be the more relaxed one because it accommodates your shortened muscles and pampers them. So a big mistake would be to stay in this avoidance position and sit like this. It's better to sit up straight. It takes a lot more effort, but it trains exactly those muscles, the length and the strength you need to get out of that bad posture. The issue of sitting is immediately followed by the issue of sleeping, and that's always a factor. Look. The way Ina is pretending to sleep here is the way many people sleep. In a side position, but in this position, you too play into the hands of those shortened muscles. You could see here the overly bent neck being automatically taken in the sleeping position. Don't get me started on hip and back problems causing pain. That's an issue for another day. But please, I want to make you aware of your sleeping position. Here, you're in a position you should avoid. It's much better to lie on your back. Please, lie on your back, Ina. First, try it in a way that isn't perfect either. Because, look closely here, the pillow pushes you back into a neck position called nerd neck. Because your back rests flat, and here you end up with a nerd neck, an overly bent neck. That, too, plays into your neck pain, even though you might be unaware of that connection because you're asleep and not thinking about that. How can you solve this problem when you sleep? You lie on your back, but don't, and Ina is doing it here automatically, bend back your head, but lower your neck towards the mattress, and that prevents neck pain simply through sleeping in this position. You could even lie on your back with a pillow, but in a different way, by putting the pillow to a different use. Ina, lift your head and just slide it under the upper end of your head, so gravity can pull your neck towards the mattress. In this position, a pillow is a good thing. But you need a firm pillow. A soft pillow won't do you any good because you would sink in too much. And that would be kind of a stretch already. Using a pillow this way is very close to what our neck hero does. Because it raises your head a little more and that stretches your neck even more. And it presses certain points in the back of your skull, and that again relaxes it so much that it's easier for the muscles to stretch longer since they are now relaxed. And now, if you're interested in these mysterious points on your skull that can relax your neck, then I'd recommend go and watch this video. I'm Roland Liebscher-Pracht, and it's my vision to offer all people, and that means you too, a life free of pain.